Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a union read for you today. It incorporates the masculine and feminine into one. It is one full read for the both, for the union. I have sand art and I will do some oracle cards at the end as usual. It is Saturday. It is February 2nd. We're um, Groundhog's Day. Um, anyway, two, 2019 we're in, we're in February. Um, two is the High Priestess, so we're in that um, psychic energy, um, also feminine energy, very in, intuitive and quiet. And then we have the day adding up to the 16 of the tower, so sudden events. So certainly where there's been snow, be careful out there on the roads, okay? Of course, that's a seven, so that is um, it's a very spiritual number the tower, okay, because it comes from within, sudden events that need to happen, and they can be positive as well, so, and certainly epiphanies and things like that, so I'm going to get right into the sand art, and then we'll get into the read, so definitely a lot of significant information came up again, it's a 111 now, um, the sand art, shock attack, shark attack, I was writing this right at noon, um, and again, I was seeing a toothpick in, in someone's mouth. So someone you consider a shark who always has a toothpick in their mouth. Um, leaks, again, and Little Drummer Boy came up. Um, a new tree. A little dating. So somebody might be like testing out new families or a little bit of dating. Um, new ground forming. A good home-baked bread loaf. Sloth. Bears hibernating in the mountains by the water or a rink especially if it's frozen now um, but also spy nearby was coming up also men's gymnastics or Cirque du Soleil swinging disaster flinging body over a coffin or a grave or a mountain or things you don't want someone to take or tape or sliding down head first um, also I've seen grizzly or polar bears on icebergs and people running, so someone might actually see a bear. Also climbing, and then, uh, what do they call the, um, the little uh, jet carts, you know, they used to go up and down the, the hills on the snow. Um, but those, and then lounging, and eating too much, legs and butts, expecting handouts, or facial, or doing past life regression, or counsel. Uh, muscles sore, heated blankets, to stay in bed or under cover. Kicking a bear in the nose like you would a shark. Getting yelled at for sleeping too long. And I saw an anteater or a cute little dog with a toy in his mouth. Also new found ancient rocks and tombs possibly found. Okay, so that was the sand art and I'm gonna get right into the read. All right, so. I watched last night I watched my my daddy is in heaven um, so I don't know if somebody lost their father recently or I'm um, also in the movie there was a boy in a bus who committed suicide so I don't know if that's something that's happened recently but not, I'm not predicting anything to come but anything that might be going on around you and then um, like I said, we have the High Priestess and the Tower energy today. So significant, significant sudden events um, or psychic intuitions or epiphanies. Um, when I was shuffling, um, first the, uh, the Seeker of Chalices, which is the Page of Cups in, in the regular deck, and the Ascension card popped out and stood up in my lap, literally. So that's the Page of Cups and the world. Okay, so that innocence of keeping your heart open and pure to the world. And, and it, it was funny because I took a pic when it was standing up in my lap and it came out really cool actually. Um, and, then, and then while I was still shuffling the Emperor, which is reason in the Syrian Starseed deck, and also Karma, which is judgment, also fell out. There's a lot of fiery, fiery energy came up today 
Um, it's been very blue recently, and today it's, it's definitely more fiery and red-orange. So the read was done at um, 857 to 858. The major arcana from the Syrian star seed were strength, justice, guidance, and the card after the read was empress. Okay. So whereas the emperor came up while I was shuffling to be seen, um, the emperor did not come out in the major cards, but it was definitely in the minor cards, like times three. So the, the emperor is definitely there, but not the main character. It's more about the empress. Although the emperor was coming up reverse. The Empress was upright. Um, the suits. Okay, so there's three swords, four wands, and one pentacle. No cups in this read for the union. Um, the court cards were the King of Wands, which is that shaman energy for the Syrian star seed, but the King of Wands also came up in the other decks, not the, the shaman energy. And then the Queen of Wands. So the King and Queen of Wands were the only court cards here. And then the Nine of Pentacles, which I often see as a character can be an independent person or a young person, a teenager in their 20s, um, but definitely a sovereign, okay, someone who's happy on their own and single. Then I have, um, so that could definitely represent, you know, a, a couple who's together and then a third party for sure as well, but it also can represent children. So we have uh, numbers of 5, 10, 1, 16, 55, and 341. And the coding was all about following your dreams today, about expanding at zero point, at this new moon, staying in your high vibration, to ace and master fire, which is passions, and dreams. Oh, D-Day was just coming up as well. So, um, getting right into the read. The underlying energy was the strength card, but in the Syrian Starseed deck, this is a tiger, not a lion, so for me there's a lot of Sagittarius energy, not just Leo, and it's definitely, you know, laser focus, that masculine energy of their eye on the prize, you know, but also laser focus, so eye on the prize and laser focus, manifesting detox of not getting affection and indecision, so letting go of that stuff as abandonment issues come up and out. There's a devil or shadow energy here as a prisoner, so whether that's actually a prisoner getting out of prison or you allowing yourself out of prison as, a, uh, as some kind of addiction to being in your own mental prison, right? Like feeling like you deserve it. Rising above and standing up for yourself in the end of a marriage and or home situation. Near death experience, but manage to escape it. Finding an appreciation for the simple things like shoveling or raking the yard. No longer defensive, just allowing transformation. No love loss between the Queen of Wands reversed and the Emperor reversed. Just jealousy and insincerity. Refusal of her love offer. Him only focused on money or letting go of crown to expand his consciousness from negativity and lying to self. Not standing in truth as the King of Swords reversed. Okay, so he's coming up reversed. So, so self-absorbed, can't even see the person standing next to him trying to fix things or cover things up with patchwork. Having the money to do repairs, but weak from injuries and feeling destitute, abandonably not doing things that you should be doing. My screen just froze. I don't know if it froze on your end, but sorry about that. Um, the underlying energies were codependency, and beneath that was getting to know each other. So maybe you're getting to know someone when you weren't paying attention to them at all and realizing that you're codependent and that you really don't necessarily resonate with each other. So I was coming up as separation times two, especially on behalf of the divine masculine, like feeling separated times two, like literally in a formal separation and feeling separated from the twin. As the divine feminine shines and the divine masculine has continued to harvest her energies while seeing or hearing the harsh truth and talking it out with karmics and or children, cracking the whip and not taking any shit, <laughs> okay? That was coming up for the masculine, but it definitely can certainly be in some of the divine feminine situations as well. Butt cheeks exposed times two, again, and someone may be mooning the divine masculine and one may be sweet cheeks. Some may just have two kids they're dealing with, getting a handle on the truth, but the point of it, off the bed and missing. As someone may be not getting the point. May, they may know the truth, but because there's so so much in tunnel vision, 
They're not even receiving what's going on. Okay? So they may be getting a handle on the truth, like knowing what it is, but the point of it is off the bed and missing. Okay? So they're not getting it. Or, there's, or the handle on the door opening to kids who already know the truth and don't need to know the point of it because they get it because they're aware and open. All right, so the underlying energies that were coming up here were Aries reversed as the Emperor reversed twice, okay? Virgo upright, Capricorn reversed, Gemini reversed, Scorpio upright, Libra could be either way, but it was coming more positive through through positively in this read, and then Pisces was also upright. So again, upright is someone in their positive aspects, and someone reversed is in their negative aspects, okay? So stockings and garters and knees and toes coming up. The Divine Masculine's right foot, a bed of roses. His left foot, no one knows, okay? So they can refer to the, his uh, masculine or his feminine, but also his masculine karmic life and his feminine twin life, okay? So you can use roses to stay in a high vibration all you want, but the energy stealing and abuse one does, undoes all the good stuff. And you may be holding onto a rose that someone else put a spell on to keep you under their control or their watch. The ex may be, the ex may be conceited and the divine feminine may be shining her light both looking in the mirror and liking what they see, but the Divine Masculine feels cheated, separated from both in his plight, his fight, and possibly parenting, okay, which is also coming up as the underlying energy and love. So it's really all about love. Don't forget that. The Emperor reversed, or his inner child, or his actual child, is very frustrated and or creatively blocked, fighting an unhappy family, moving or ending, or both. Um, grass is overgrown, and women and girls not doing anything about it. However, the Divine Masculine noticing two butterflies and two bunnies, two mice on a log, and burgundy tights, and a cat doing a happy dance, or hanging from the ceiling like a monkey or a gymnast, flowers naturally forming a square, and a dragonfly in the right corner who's looking to pair in the spring, okay? So this is the Masculine um, kind of like stuck in no man's land, but now actually being forced to go be in slow motion when usually he's running at a fast pace, like won't stop and is stressed all the time, now forced into that kind of submission of being quiet and still, is now actually noticing that the grass is overgrown, no one's any, doing anything about it, but then when he goes out into that grass, he's noticing the pairs of things and nature and the animals, and that even the dragonfly is looking to pair, okay? and just seeing the flowers and the things that are um, are showing him synchronicities as well. So leaving behind his emperor out of control and welcoming his inner curious boy, a little impish perhaps, liking what he sees, but not wanting anyone to know what he's up to or what actually pleases him. In the eye of the storm of death, abandonment, stealing, abuse, cover-ups, transformation, moving, codependency, and or parenting. After the chaos settles, only love is really seen. Only love is ever real. Recently, in the union, lightning strikes in a three-way situation, heartbreak separation, uninspired, and or having tantrums. In the wake of a secret sudden event and or epiphanies of the high priestess, the foundation being brain wars over, the swords are down, the cards are down. The queen, of the queen of Pentacles is seen as the clear winner because they match, but the Queen of Cups is okay with that in a move, ending a codependency. And it's 1414, but I was noticing 1411, so temperance and justice. All right, balance and truth and balance. Patience. Um, so moving and ending, so it looks like there's a choice now and that all parties are okay with it in a move or ending of a codependency as well as leaving behind stress and anxiety. Centrally, the energy is all about the Ace of Flames new passion, which has come up several times recently. In a bold move, without talking about it, ending battle wounds and overworking, can't focus anyway or not working to stay in betrayal of King of Wands demands or causing back pain or bleeding out from his stress. 
or liver varices or ulcer. Okay, so some people could have different issues because of all the stress they've endured and refusing to do what's in their highest good because they have to be seen as the person who takes care of everything. They have to be seen as the man, right? So the challenge being is the shaman king of wands in their 70s type or Indian garb. Okay, so it's very much that earthy, red, orange, orangey, rusts and browns. After fighting messenger of truth, not in their power or losing money or being drained or no longer independent, rushing in to save the day, after everything is already over. So someone trying to oppress someone when everything's already been taken care of anyway. So celebration or gathering at work in order to manifest, make magic, and to realize all the suffering and stress that the King of Wands has caused in death, illness, or betrayal, adding insult to injury. Okay? So place these characters where they belong. I mean, this read is all about the King and Queen of Wands. I'm not necessarily getting that this is the masculine and it's karmic, although it could be, um, but it definitely could be the emperor and empress or somebody else around you. It can be the divine feminine and their karmic, so however it fits. Um, but it could be about parents and a child and their independence from the parents. Um, but um, it's coming up as the king of wands actually having done things against the union. So it could have been the Divine Masculine, or it could be somebody in the Divine Masculine's life, or it could be the karmic of the Divine Feminine, or someone around her. So now, Justice, blind as a bat, could be Libra with new passion, with soulmate, partner of passion and romance, walking, hiking, and going within, after laying down swords, apologizing with truth and balance, and making a correction, or a move or change of residence or business, dumping attachments to get things over, and over with, looking for peace but still stuck with some emotions that need to be released. The hermit or professional or Virgo alone with their thoughts about avoidance and control nightmare and flame exposed through tied Queen of Wands trying to distance trying who the Queen of Wands who's trying to distract him from his five D romantic tie, him feeling sweet judgment, but love from his connection even more with third party always offering love and watching from a distance, him hurting her in reunion of narcissistic marriage or just being a narcissist. Soon the Queen of Wands is covered in chaos, out of control Leo and or Sag, with Pisces fighting with everyone in the family and up at night partying with friends. After work and many secret options for her, as the Emperor Destiny is exposed and unfolds of heaven in their eyes, secret third party, the Queen of Wands has her hands in all sorts of fires. The union is the Eight of Wands, expressing passionate feelings and or a heated exchange, which can be verbal or physical, starting over in love after falling on their face or lack of faith, whether it's the masculine or the feminine, and this is the union. In deception or at the new moon, to start over with twin must first get past letting go of sadness, loss, regret, guilt, and shame. So the underlying cards here, or actually the cards that came out in the Romance Angels for the union were past life relationship. Yes, you've known each other before. Let go of control issues for both, and then also release your ex for both. So if you haven't released your ex, release them. And if you've already released them, then you need to let go of some energy revolving around that. Whether it has to do with kids that will always bind you to them, etc. So around the union, or as it is seen, is the Ten of Swords, or orbs, now released. The truth is out, being still and wise, new perspectives germinate, and no longer waiting to, to, re, to reap more rewards. It's time to start investing time again, now that the pain is over. Clear blocks of guidance and marriage, establishments and commitments, being dumped and depressed and arrogant instead of happy on your own, now that the worst is over for the emperor. Okay. So, like I said, the Emperor was coming up all reversed and the Empress upright. So, I'm telling you, no kings besides the King of Swords came up in this read. They're not even present. The King of Swords came up reversed and the Emperor came up reversed. Um, the Queens, I believe, let's see, at least three of the Queens were upright. What did I get? Well, I'll tell you at the end. Um, but yeah, there's definitely more positive feminine energy, and then the masculine's like going through the cleanup of things. 
All right, so the cards that came out from the numerology deck were Follow Your Dreams, Spiritual Partnership. So Follow Your Dreams and then Spiritual Partnership even more so, as well as Synchronicities and Effort more so. Make an Effort. It was just 2011. So again, Justice and Judgment. So this is like finalities. When you get Judgment and Justice t together. So it's time to make an effort to follow your guides and, and Synchronicities in a spiritual partnership in order to follow your dreams. Surprise offer of something that's practical, healthy and or friendship. Sovereign walks away from narcissist marriage after third party reunion with queen of swords exposed, paying any debt or imbalance she or he owes to their twin. The king of swords, Taurus, goes to Empress's house for love and abundance. Possibly mothers where his sister and niece live or twin and daughter or twin with daughter at their mother's house, or just twin, is all three, the feminine twin, the empress, the queen of swords, and sovereign. So that, that can all be one person. Or the, so the mask can maybe go into mother or aunt's house, some, or grandmother's house to stay, or even to, to the twin's house, okay? So there's definitely a change of residence going on here, no matter who it is. But it looks like, like I said, whether it's the empress and their parents, or the twins, um, the Empress is upright and the, and the masculine energy is reversed, so they're struggling a little bit right now. So new life offer after deliberating or bad decisions, now Empress is king of the hill, which is abundance, okay? Strength of abandonment with laser focus, tiger's eye, releasing anxiety issues by expressing feelings to release pain and heartache. New passion or challenge with the, with the king of wands shaman and King of Wands marriage, so the two of them, their marriage, now divorced and free and independent and opening heart to abundance and new life and reunion with King and Queen of Swords exposed in a surprise, shock, or friendship or proposal. Okay, so we have, definitely have the King and Queen of Wands coming up here, a King and Queen of Swords coming up here, and the Emperor and Empress. Okay, so they could... Um, they could all represent different aspects of the twins. They, one could represent the karmic relationship, one could be the twin relationship, one could be parents. So however it fits for you. There's definitely three couples in this read. They could, you know, it doesn't have to be three couples though, because definitely the, what's the emperor and empress can be um, expressed as the wands or the swords, or they could be three separate things. And the swords couple could be the same as the wands couple. They could just be different aspects of them. They could be like their work aspect and then their home aspect. Or it could be the twins and the karmics. So like I said, the emperor's definitely reversed, the emperor's upright. The other signs that were in the body of the reed were Cancer, um, both up and down. Libra, definitely up. Pisces, up and down. Um, Virgo, up and down, but nothing negative really with Virgo. It's just kind of uh, maybe a little bit of sadness or isolation, but I wasn't get getting specifically negative things with the Virgo energy. Positive except for the fact that they could, you know, still be a little sadness or guilt, that kind of stuff. Leo is reversed. Aquarius is reversed. Taurus is upright, so positive. That's the abundance of the Empress. And then also Aries was reversed. And that was it. Like I said, there was no, there were no kings besides the king. Well, the King of Wands was there, but um, he may be expressing negative energy. The King of Swords was definitely reversed. Uh, the king, the, the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups were upright in the reed. The queen of wands was reversed. Queen of swords not was there in one of the clarifiers, but not sure exactly what energy she was expressing. I mean, it could be Libra upright. But there's also an Aquarius reversed. So sometimes when I get reversed and upright and reversed, it could be two separate people. So it could be two people with the same sign energy. Okay, so then um, the Knight of Cups was reversed. So some jealousy there in the read. Or it could just be the knight, a Knight of Cups who's just um, not himself or crying, that kind of energy. Or feeling rejected, or was rejected because it can be an offer. And then the Knight of Swords was upright, so there's definitely uh, truth coming through. It was just 2444. Four, four. So that's the Queen of Wands and trying to master. And also the 45, which is that sadness of regret and loss, trying to let go of a situation in order to move forward. 
When you leave the Five of Cups, you get to the Six of Cups, which is the twins in the garden, the two children, the innocence, okay? The beauty of love. Uh, the only page that was coming up upright was the Page of Swords, but the Page of Swords was also reversed. The underlying Page of Swords was upright, but the Page of Swords in the body was reversed as well as the Page of Wands reversed. I didn't see the other two pages and whether they were up, upright or reversed. And there was no, there were no King of Pentacles or Cups anywhere in the read. Clarifiers or the read, all right? No Queen, no King of Pentacles or King of Cups. So it was not about, you know, the man at work. You know, Saturday, it's the weekend. So it's not about the work King of Pentacles, the persona of the masculine or someone around who is the king, money person of the family. And it's not about the King of Cups who's been around reverse. So manipulative energy or someone who drinks. They're not in this read today. Okay, so I'm going to pull some um, cards for you guys. I'm going to show you the read before I forget to do that. It was just 2552, which is the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. And that's often very much the energy of the masculine with the feminine. All right, so let's see what cards we have for you today. I was definitely getting some chart heart stress and pains like expansion energies today so you may as well it's a nice sunny day out we did have some snow um, yesterday but um, or last night but it's pretty much all melted because the sun's out it's really nice out actually take a deep breath to the Ascension deck. Alright. So for this February 2nd, 2019, coming into the new moon on the 4th. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Okay, the bottom of the deck is Kuan Yin, number 43. So 43 is the Three of Cups. And Kuan Yin is all about the children and the inner child. The affirmation is I act from my divine feminine wisdom. Okay, so that's a seven. So first card uh, was Sirius, which is 17. And then we had nature. So it's about being out in nature, getting some time with nature, and being natural, allowing things to happen naturally. And then another card, I don't know if I'm going to read the third card or not, but is Archangel Metatron's Cloak, number 51, which is the King of Swords, which definitely came out in the read. Um, and Nature's Three of the Empress, which also came out in the read. But the star card, was it reference? the star card was reversed in the read, in the clarifiers, although it was there. And it's funny because it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> We're being serious here. It is about your dreams, but you know, there's maybe some serious things that have to be taken care of at the moment. So Sirius says, the star system of Sirius holds 12 of the universal keys to enlightenment and ascension. When you access and comprehend them, you become master of the universe. This card invites you to visit the training schools and universities of Sirius in your sleep in order to develop your higher mind, access the spiritual laws of alchemy and magic, understand sacred geometry, and tune into angel sonics and higher dimensions. This is an opportunity to learn through the inner planes about spiritual technology and bring it forward to the new golden age. The affirmation is I'm open to the higher wisdom of Sirius. Okay, so like I said, you might want to make an intention to visit with Sirius before you go to sleep or if you, when you, you, know, you meditate. So nature's three, again, that's the empress. The nature kingdom was created from the heart of God. The ninth dimensional master, Pan, directs the elemental beings that support nature, and Archangel Berlimiac, the angel of nature, lovingly holds and protects nature as it energizes you, raises your frequency, and purifies and heals you. Your guidance is to honor nature's beauty and life force. If possible, go out into the meadows, forests, mountains, lakes, and rivers to let nature recharge, balance, and heal you, which it naturally does. A love of and respect for nature is essential for your ascension and that of the planet. The affirmation is, I thank, bless, and love the entire nature kingdom. Okay? And it, help, it helps to keep your energy clear. So if you're just living in a place where it's just a lot of nature, 
And of course your energy is going to be more clear and you're going to be more protected. So Archangel Metatron's cloak, I'll read it, is 51, 6, we have 6, 8, and a 3. Um, like I said, it's the King of Swords. It's an honor to receive the card, for the cloak allows Metatron's energy to be held in your aura. It ensures that your 12 chakras are open and protects you from lower energies. This means that you can link to the seventh dimension, Apollo Earth, and access wisdom from the four ascension planets. Walk tall and stand in your power. Wearing this cloak will help you guide others on their ascension path. You're called on to do this. Empower people to see who they are and what they do. The affirmation is I stand in my power and lead others forward. So again, we're getting a lot about... Um, You know, using the higher energies, that's your protection, is that love and light energy. Using that, the nature, you know, which is higher vibration energy, okay? That's your protection, that's really all the protection you need, is that love and light. And it's funny because it came up with someone I was talking to this morning. Before I forget to do this, I'm going to show you this again. I showed this yesterday in the masculine read, but it was dark and it was hard to see. My computer, it's an old computer, it's, I'm on Windows 7 because I didn't like the, the 8 and 10 windows, so um, I am doing some uh, energy portraits and I wanted to show you an example of what I did. Alright, so this is an example of what I did for myself. So I'm, I'm selling these for $99, um, it does take me, it can take anywhere from, from 2, 3 or more hours to do these, so, but anyway, this is just an example. Um, it's not just the portrait, okay? So what it is, is this line, this line is actually my energy, okay? So I psychically get your energy signature down on paper and I incorporate it into, in a creative way, pulling in psychic energy from you and your personality along with any colors or specific requests you might have and then artistically pull it into a, a picture that you've given me, but I would want a, a picture to draw from as well. Um, so if any of you are interested, let me know. I will also give you, um, so this, the line or the code, whatever comes through for you is coding within the picture, but I will also do a specific psychic energy read for you to pull in a message for you, and I'll either incorporate that as well into the picture, or I can give that to you separately. Okay, so um, my information is below, so if you're interested, you can always drop me an email, but I'll put that information again below in the, in the, um, in the details. And then I have uh, the Past Life deck, and also, um, you know, my CDs out there, Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames, you can buy a song just for a dollar, and actually, it will definitely help uh, bring up some wounds, and hopefully you actually enjoy the music to listen to. I still listen to it, so I love it. It's very, um, it was, when I was first going through my journey, it was amazing to actually listen to this music, and it definitely, this, the last seven songs, um, I wrote on my journey, um, six, six of them, my twin, the last one was my, uh, to my mother, but, um, my, my third energy is definitely in there, when I, when I write music, it's definitely a channeling energy, so, um, there's definitely clearing and activating energies within my music so if you're interested but anyway I'm going to get into the read now we have the um, past life deck and today is February 2nd 2019 for everyone watching and the best and highest good of all is concerned <sighs> okay for Kuan Yin and Metatron what do we need to know what do we need to learn Kuan Yin and Metatron Okay. No, got two for, from each. Okay. So the bottom of the deck is ships, which was interesting because I, that's where we started out from. Okay. So ships, and I always see this as very clean, pure, and new, and the ship coming in like a fresh new start. It's like opening the blinds first thing in the morning and letting the sun in. The wind in your sail and the wind beneath your wings. And codes because I was just getting like a sail code ships because a lot of times ship shipping is a, a sail code but I'm getting codes
hips. She, hips, P.S. I was just getting Rose hips as well, so that might be good for someone. Yeah, hips and IP address. Okay, so hips, she, so that could be the feminine, but also it can be someone named she. Um, also P.S. and IP address. And shh, shh. If you remember that, that just reminded me of this. So I'm going to say it because it's being brought up. When I was in camp, we learned this. When I was at day camp, when I was young, um, flee, flee, fly, flee, fly, flow, vista, pamalama, kumalama, kumala vista. Oh no, 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 not the vista, vista, vista. Eeny, meeny, disalini, ooh, ah, ah, malini, ah, cha, 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 kuku, ah, ooh, ooh. Give me an ish bibli out and dotin, bobo, but didn't, that, and why not, and shh. So I'm gonna go, shh. <laughs> so I don't know if that brings up something for someone, but I was guided to bring it up. So. I was just getting cool. Your ship's coming in, and it's cool. going to a cool place. Okay. So two sets of cards came up. We have Vows and Galactic. And then these two came up together as Knighthood and Food and Hunger. So this is from Metatron. The first one's from Kuan Yin, okay? Because the Metatron is off, you know, looking over the masculines. So for the feminines and Kuan Yin, it's about making your connections. Maybe you should connect to Kuan Yin. It's definitely about making gal galactic connections. You might want to look up the sky. You might see something in the sky. And also you need to um, break vows again or make vows. Actually, you're, I'm seeing the flame again. So you might want to make vows to your flame. the other candle still needs to be lit. So still a little work. But make sure to um, clear. It's not only past life um, vows, but vows you made in other galactic systems. To study and learn other cultures. And learn how to be silent. Okay, so that might be actually be a vow that you need to break. Is that a vow of silence? Especially regarding a flame. Okay, so that's Kuan Yin. All right, so for uh, Metatron, we have definitely about starvation and being a knight in battle with armor. And people, it definitely came up in this in the sand art that people are overeating right now and hibernating bears right in the winter time you store up for the winter for you store up prior to the winter because you may not be able to harvest anything in the winter because of the snow and so people are always, always in fear of not having enough food and water and then and then things like you know dirty water and rusty cups and things like that Oh, and that the putting on of weight is a protection, right? It's a protection to protect you from starvation. So, you know, the, in the winter it was important to um, stuff yourself, you know, like, like the squirrel with all the, <laughs> the nuts, um, so you'd have enough fat to survive. But you, that's a fear, so you need to let go of the need to pack on the pounds in the winter because of fear of starvation and protecting yourself, like armor. Also family shields, you know, it was a family way to eat certain foods um, and come to family functions to eat a lot when you don't even want to go and to let go of all that stuff. And just being in the knighthood, you know, to honor, protect, and serve your 
you know, your family crest or your king or your queen, okay? You need to let go of those vows, you know, the knighthood, you know, knight being knighted. There's a lot about the knighthood being associated with starvation. I'm getting to now, um, starvation, just as the feeling of starving on dark, lonely, cold nights in the winter time and how painful it is. And the spirit's connecting with me very strongly because there's definitely that in my lineage, so. All right, so let's get into the journey of love. Clear, take another deep breath, clear and align. 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 So, it's February 2nd, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is consumed. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Kuan Yin and Tang. The bottom of the deck is Rings of Time, which is 44, that mastering of energies. Okay. So Rings of Time. interesting. I'm looking at rings of time. I'm seeing someone on an airplane, someone working out. And somebody with hip with their hips bothering them. Someone can't get up or struggling to anyway. the underlying energy. So what came out for you guys first is the Spiral Dance of the Goddess, which is number 29, which is the Three of Wands. The 44, by the way, is the Four of Cups. All right, that's that can be boredom energy. It's about grounding and integrating, but it can be about feeling sorry for yourself or just not seeing what's right in front of you. But also it's about Atlas and the weight of the world on your shoulders and mastering, mastering these cycles, the spiral cycle of getting into your really high vibration, then coming back a little bit and learning to get higher and higher and higher, okay? It's always gonna come up, be coming back, but you're never losing ground. You're always getting higher and higher like that. So the spiral dance of the goddess, that three of wands, which can be about waiting for your ship to come in. And we, then we have the beautiful white linen ship that we saw, um, but we also have this card being the energy of staying present, always seeing the beauty of the present moment, not looking back or forward, because that takes you into lack or into pain, but staying present and always being focused on the present moment. So you're always ready to, re to not react to a situation and always be balanced and patient. I'm gonna read that for you. It's very olive, olive oil, olive oil, good for everything. Organic olive oil for your food, because it's, you know, it's then butter, number one, it's not animal fat, but it's also, um, you know, it tastes great in things and it's less calories and it's, a be it's good fat as opposed to bad fat. And it's great in your hair. Um, I use it in a coffee mixture for a body scrub. Coffee, you know, Him Himalayan salt with rose petals in it and olive oil. It's very simple. Is there anything else? And I actually recommend you can put tea in there as well, but you know, you need the coffee for the scrub and the salt. Uh, the other card is contemplation number 69. 69 is the Ace of Pentacles. It's about new life and perfect contentment because you're staying present and appreciating the present moment and showing gratitude. So Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands and it's 4444. It's present, you know, staying present to a, a brand new life. Perfect contentment and balance. 
and read you the, these. I just want to see, read, look into the pictures for a moment to see if I have any more messages for you. And def, there's definitely ovary and the fallopian tubes here. I don't know if someone's getting their tubes tied, maybe trying to get their tubes reopened. It's so olive though, it's so much about olive. Olive oil, Popeye, spinach. Someone needs to eat more spinach for sure, but olive oil as well. Oh, what am I getting there? Like I said, they may be finding some ancient ruins, some mummified bodies or body parts, or maybe even a saint. And caves, or maybe even an ET. But I'm getting a thing being wrapped as well, so someone might have an injury they need to wrap. And then contemplation is very much like the other picture. Say, so look at these. This was the underlying energy and contemplation. Look at them together. Okay, they're like facing each other in the same position. But absolutely like the masculine and the feminine in the same position of contemplation, of reflecting themselves and getting taught in the masculine picture. Soft and soft. You know, so that definitely the energy of for the masculine of that of Thoth, which is scientific and mathematician thinker, you know. But someone could, you could definitely be thinking of rings as well. Your spiral dance of the goddess, contemplation, and then rings of time. So I'm going to read 29 and 69. And the nines, of course, are compassion. Two is the feminine, and six is love. Spiral dance of the goddess. From a point of light unfolding, we become a soul, then incarnate into a sacred body of our lives becoming, and become a work of divine art, a speck of heavenly presence manifesting itself through dimensions of time and space and into a life on earth made manifest. The extraordinary fact of your existence is a divine happening, as though the light of the moon is dancing not only upon the water, but inside of it. Your ancient light is dipping into the mud of the earth. This is how the soul becomes a divine human in the making. As you sense yourself moving and shifting from light to dark and back again, from knowing to unknowing, you are weaving your consciousness, your divinity, into sacred expression, manifesting your soul essence into the form of your life. Threading the light through darkness without even realizing you are doing it, you are gently impregnating the matter of your body, of your life, with light. Your body and your life become luminous, radiant, and you assist others, even just through your presence. It sounds wonderful, and it is. And spirits connecting. It is Yet, it is not always an easy path. As the light travails through darkness, pain and suffering can arise in waves. Best to be present to it, trust that it is not a permanent condition, and wait for the spiral to twist from dark to light again. Always moving closer and closer to the purity of the center and expanding outward eternally, as though you're being inhaled by the divine, filling cosmic lungs as they reach far and wide, taking in all of life. The message of this oracle to you is that you're growing. You're bringing more of your light into form. You may be meeting obstacles in yourself and in the world, but this is because you are bringing through the light. If there were nothing happening, there would be no obstacle. Bless them as signs that you are proceeding and empowering them no more. You shall be, and all else is just divine timing. And the poem reads, The inner movement in expressive flow, an outward breath of dance and light, becoming one, becoming free. So just allow it all. And then 69 is contemplation. Okay, contemplation. Within you, there's a question arising. When you get the question right, the answer will be self-evident, but you have to plunge into your conscious deep within to find the right question. It's 4949. 4949 is the um, Nine of Cups. Get your wish card. It's contentment on your own. 
So when if you want to understand the question, if you want to find the you have to find the right question to articulate it clearly and understand what it is you're really asking. That question within you is actually a divine gift of awakening. It is your future awakened self waiting to be found and calling to you too. Let the question arise through dreams, dance, meditation, sleep, yoga, time in nature, swimming in the ocean, bathing in aromatherapy bath, or receiving a hot stone massage. The question holds within it the next full unfolding petal of the lotus of your being. This oracle brings you an invitation to enter the mystery of your life and your being and to allow the biggest question you can summon to emerge from your heart and be expressed through love. Your question may emerge as clear and shining or soft and yielding, a question note with no words, only feeling. Whatever truth emerges, let that be your contemplation. In response to that question, the next step forward will unfold before you, revealed in perfect clarity and perfect timing. This oracle brings you a message from your own divine nature. Come sit with me and breathe. I want to ask you something. I want you to ask me something. And together, there's a conversation that we are to have now, and there will be a beautiful accord between us that overflows into all of your relationships, bringing more understanding and peace. And the poem reads, Patterns break through the night in beams of light awakening, memories of walking on sand, moments waves replace, waiting for another passerby. Reflections, time to look outward, in, to find those hidden spaces, residing alone, waiting for a twin soul, waiting for myself which says it all. Okay, so your patterns are breaking. You know, you're doing a lot of work at night when you're sleeping that you're not even aware of. Know that you're doing everything that you need to do. just be and let everything happen naturally okay guys rise and get up